The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. Obedience to God's command is more important than sacrifice. Mm. Still dwelling on Matthew 5. 23, 24. Therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar, and then remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar. First go and reconcile them. Cons go and be reconciled to them. Then come and offer your gifts. And this is what we are here to offer. We are not only to offer the gift. We are here 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 to offer the it's more important than sacrifice or any offering. Now, I will dwell in 1 Kings 15. We will look at Saul and the Amalekites. Now, 1 Samuel 15, 1 to 22. But we will take the reading in parts. First Samuel 15. Let's start from verse 1. Samuel said to Saul, I am the one the Lord sent to anoint you, you king over his people Israel. So listen now to the message from the Lord. Samuel Saul said, now, so between Samuel and Saul, we are talking about the Lord. When we talk about the Lord, we are talking about the owner and creator of all things. The one in whom we live, move, and have our being. Now, when we accepted Jesus, we accepted him as Lord and Savior. Don't let us forget that we accepted him as our Lord and savior normally when we conf we confess our sins the preacher man will say that having said this you are born again you are saved but we don't tend to add the fact that you have come under the lordship of christ so samuel is saying that the lord commanded you now the lord commanded a lord because saul could also be referred to as lord because he was the king of israel and the surveyor and if you like the owner of the land of Israel. That is why when we are referring to the Almighty, we say He is the Lord of Lords. Because many of you sitting here are lords. If you own a land, you are a landlord. So we are dealing with the one who is a creator and the owner of all things. Hannah says there is none holy as the Lord. Now there is no rock like the one I'm talking about. Now Hannah says he sends people to the grave 
and he brings some out of the grave. Now he says that he makes some poor and makes some rich. He obeys some and then he lifts some up. Now, now, this is the one that I'm talking about. I want us to have the consciousness that by being born again, we come under the Lordship of Christ. Now, verse 2 says this. This is what the Lord Almighty says. I will punish the Amalekites for what they did to Israel when they waylaid them as they came out from Egypt. Now go. Let's, let's listen to the instructions from the Lord. Now go. Attack the Amalekites. And totally destroy all that belongs to them. Totally. Destroy all. Totally. Destroy all that belongs to them. Do not spare them. Put to death men and women, children and infant, cattle and sheep, camel and donkeys. Now we will jump to verse 7 to see how Saul executed the command. Now verse 7. It was so. Then Saul attacked the Amalekites all the way from Havila to Shaw, near the eastern border of Egypt. Now verse 8. He took Aga, king of the Amalekites, alive, and all his people, and all his people he totally destroyed with the sword. Now, Ochre Amalek Hene Agag and Yumuno. Now, Omanu Yinadi or the Incrante are not say won't pass up, pass up, pass up. But Saul and the army spared Agag and the best of the sheep, the best of the sheep, eh? mm -hmm. and the cattle, and the fat calf, and the lambs. Everything that was good they spared. These they were unwilling. They were unwilling, listen to that, to destroy completely. Yes. But everything that was despised and weak, they totally destroyed. Now, now, one person was say wrong. Now, dear, dear, a woman who now any machine no dear was say no pass up, pass up, pass up, pass up, pass up. You see, when I read, but Saul spared Agag. I don't, I don't feel his heart. But when I come to uh, the second line, these they were unwilling to destroy. They were unwilling to destroy. It means that the instruction was clear in their minds. They understood it, but they were unwilling to destroy. No. Let's listen to his justification. Verse 15. Saul answered when he was confronted by Samuel. The soldiers brought them from the Amalekites. They spared the best of the sheep and cattle to sacrifice to the Lord your God. Now Saul will say, will be saying, no, no, some more kind of say, Amalek for me, now what did everybody, if he said, now, 
but we totally destroyed the rest. Now so they kind of the yeah saying in now pass up pass up pass up. The soldiers brought them. They uh, spared yeah. the best of the sheep and cattle to sacrifice to Samuel, your God. As what have one? we done? We are coming to sacrifice to your God. So when did God cease to become His God? It ya hey no catch us some more say a strafono and what de and then tree any nya one we have feno a bay see at the Bible bought what some more win yang coupon after the feed a bay and a one year or no in a solo no so in yang coupon.